Brilliant day for South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need more words? <laughs> um, look, it, by no means was it an easy day. Um, the conditions worked in India's favour. Um, the ball obviously was turning quite a bit for Ashwin and they, they utilised it quite, quite nicely, especially against the left-handers. Um, and saying that, their seamers were quite effective on uh, which seemed to be conditions they were quite used to bowling in. So by no means was it an easy day for us. We, we were in quite a lot of trouble yesterday at 3 for 2 when myself and AB got together and we knew we had to just somehow find a way and grind out and just take it every like five overs um, at a time to just try and accumulate some partnership for us. We were very thankful we had quite a good lead. Um, on that wicket, whether it was 30 runs or 50 runs, it's, it's going to prove quite a lot, I think, in the end, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, it was a good day for us. And, uh, and then just the cherry on the top was the way our bowlers put their hand up. Um, they've been doing it the whole year for us. And uh, irrespective of whether it's a new guy in uh, or, or the old uh, season campaigners, um, we, we just hit, we seem to be hitting the mark a lot quicker than what we, what we used to in the past. So it was a massive day for us today. And uh, I think it's hopefully going to prove uh, to be in a very, very good day tomorrow. I think the nature of the wicket proved that we had to try and bat as long as possible. Um, there was so much time in, in the game left, being two days left in, in, in five days, it's, it's so much cricket can, and so, so much can happen. Um, but going into today, we knew um, that we need to really knuckle down and we need to work in small little segments throughout the day. I think our first, obviously, target was to reach drinks um, in the first session and we, and we did that. And then um, uh, obviously we just, uh, as, as we started getting used to the pace of the wicket again, um, run scoring opportunities proved to, to become a little bit easier. Um, and I think that was the nature throughout the day. Even when Vern, Vernon and Faf were batting together, that you could see it was a really tough start. And then as they got used to things, um, scoring sped up a little bit. Um, but I think that's just the nature of the wicket, and um, it's a ball. One ball's got your name on it, and you obviously got to be quite cautious when you're out there batting, um, just because of the the unknown um, the unknown nature of how the ball's going to react off the surface. First and foremost, I'm not a curator of a, of a cricket ground. Um, we obviously give indication of what we would like as a team playing against various opposition, um, and being the home country, you obviously have that right. Um, as it works, as it's working out, the wicket's sort of playing into our favour, and um, we, I'm sure we're pretty fortunate. If the shoe was on the other foot, I think we would be quite hard done by. But um, but yeah, it's 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 very disappointing because Supersport Park usually prepares very good Test wickets, and uh, as day three, four, and five roll on, <clears throat> it proves to to be very competitive, um, and it just shows you that you shouldn't just be relying on your first innings; you should be relying on your second innings as well to to score runs. So. Um, it's a little bit disappointing to have a wicket of this kind of nature because it's obviously not our, it's not our uh, choice that, that we <coughs> obviously choose to play against a subcontinent side in. But um, yeah, so be it. We we done complaining about it and uh, we just have to crack on and try and win a test. Well, I haven't really been out of form, so I don't know why people are making such a big fuss about this. Um, I think <laughs> I think as a as a pro player, you do you do go through ups and downs, and sometimes bowlers actually do find your weaknesses a little bit more the more they play against you and the more they get to see you play. So maybe it's just a, uh, it's a factor of me maybe just identifying my weaknesses more and uh, maybe working on them to try and make them my strengths. Um, but no, I don't, I don't feel out of nick or anything. I've got a good ball in Cape Town in the first innings and, um, and yeah, a lot of things haven't really gone according to plan. First innings, yeah, the ball could have gone anywhere but it hit him straight in the chest and um, so be it, that's the nature of cricket. Um, so yeah, it is what it is and I'm working as hard as ever and I definitely don't feel out of form to be honest, like everyone's making to, to believe.